What's going on, little motherfuckers? All right. Uh, I'm letting you know ahead of time because it's going to start cooking up more. Okay. So the U.S. Navy is now sending a carrier group out to the Med, obviously, to be off the shores of Israel. Obviously, Israel is now going to be responding because Iran said that they are now uh, part of this. They said that they were planning this for weeks with uh, Hamas and everything else like that. And they're saying, Luba, what does it have to do with crypto in the stock market? <laughs> everything, because the U.S. bonds are crashing. And guess what? Now we have another event. When they make you broke, they take you to war. This is how they do it. So start um, any vulnerable stocks that you have in ETFs and stuff like that and certain investments. Those are vulnerable. Markets are going to have a hit. All prices are going to go up. So people that are looking to take uh, future calls on commodity, oil. Uh, trust me. Let, let the United States government go into the Suez Canal and, and take a hit at Iran. And yeah. Let me tell you something. Oil, oil, gold, silver, and obviously cryptos are going to benefit from it. Uh, currency cryptos. So like uh, Bitcoin and XRP or Cardano and XLM, those are currency cryptos. So understand that this is what's happening. In order to protect the U.S. dollar and the dollar's uh, global reserve, yada, 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 whatever, this is going to happen. Now, I'm calling it here before anybody. This is going to keep America occupied over in the Middle East with all kinds of yada, yada, craziness. La, 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 la. And at the end of the day, nobody's watching uh, China and they're going to take Taiwan. That's what I'm saying. Oh, right, so people that go, Hello, what are you talking about this world? You don't know this world. Let me tell you something. I'll tell you, what, I'll tell you one thing. The guy that started the DTCC, it was friends with my guy, Rich. And before he did that, he ran CIA teams inside of Latin America. He was the agency's guy in Latin America. So nice guy, though. Spoke Spanish and everything. Nicest, nicest scariest gringo I've ever met in my life. Um, this world is pretty dark, children. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. It is a different world than you see on the mainstream media. So connect the dots. Keep an eye on China. I told you what's going to be moving around. And at the end of the day, this is your October surprise. There you go.